Hey, Pamela Hack here from Strata Toscana, and this is Strata TV, where you come for a glimpse of La Bellezza, the beauty of Italian culture. And today we're talking biscotti. Hey, that's a good subject, right? But I bet, I'm willing to bet, that what just came in your mind when I said the word biscotti was a particular shape right? That you associated with that word. But the truth is the word biscotti in Italian is general. It's a generic term for cookies or biscuits. So there are many, many, probably countless different kinds of biscotti. Actually, when you come and visit Italy, you sure find that out. Go into any local bakery and you'll see a big variety of different biscotti. And a cool way to know what the traditional local recipe is for a particular cookie is to just ask inside the bakery, is there a cookie that's from here, that's local, that's traditional? That gives you a little glimpse in and of itself into the local culture. But some recipes, of course, some kinds of biscotti are more famous than others. And in fact, that shape that probably came in your head when I said biscotti is actually called cantucci. It's a particular cookie that originates from Tuscany. Actually, the recipe can be dated to a cook who kind of perfected a more ancient recipe in the city of Prato. It was a recipe that even was used by the Medici family, one of their favorite biscotti. So this cook in the 1800s, Baker, he perfects this recipe for Cantucci. And now I'm telling you, it is a classic. That particular kind of biscotto is known all throughout the world. Cantucci. Here in Tuscany, they're often made with almonds, they're crunchy, and you dip them into a dessert wine called Vin Santo. That's like a classic dessert to have here in Tuscany. Another Tuscan cookie is called Cavallucci, and that dates right back to that Medici family too. In fact, a cookie that's connected to Lorenzo the Magnificent. And it was a cookie that was made really spicy. It's a larger shape. And there's even legend that it was kept in the saddlebags of knights because it was an easy snack. Love the history behind a cookie, right? One of my favorite cookies, still from Tuscany, comes, originates from Siena. And it's called Ricciarelli. And Ricciarelli are almost like a marzipan. They're made from an almond meal egg white, meringue, and sugar, all blended together in a way that I'm telling you, it's perfectly soft and chewy and melts in your mouth. So there's three of my all-time favorites, Cantucci, uh, Cavallucci, and Ricciarelli, and countless more. All kinds of little bits and pieces and slices of La Bellezza, of Italian culture. I'm Pamela Hack, and if you liked this video, comment, share it, and head on over to stratatoscana.com and sign up. You're going to get updates and insider info. In the meantime, here's hoping that your travels are really filled with La Bellezza. And I'll see you next time on Strata TV. Hey, just one <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just one more second before you leave. We need to leave some breadcrumbs, right? Leading up to our next video. So here's the riddle. Three hints, as always. Has a religious linked name. You can pour it and it can end up with a lot of crumbs inside. Yeah, those are the three hints. Leave your guess in the comments below. As always, I look forward to reading them and I'll see you in the next episode of Strata TV.